Hey, welcome back to your full coverage here on 2020 Bible Madness. Uh, your hosts, Drew and Jordan here, bringing you the blow-by-blow blow from the second round. And Jordan, it has been just that. Absolutely, Drew. You know, we're looking at the North region here, second round games. Uh, we've got Mary victorious over Ruth, Pontius Pilate, the upset over Elijah, Micah over Samuel, and Nathan over Balaam, Drew. I don't even know which game to talk about first. These were all fantastic. Hey, look, I, I mean, Virgin Mary, Ruth. Ruth only had a 19% chance of actually coming out victorious in this one. That's I think right. Virgin Mary was was the, the obvious choice on this one. Uh, I think Ruth, though, performed every bit as well as we could have expected her to. Absolutely. I think she has made her family proud, to be certain. Uh, nothing there that, uh, that can't be redeemed, for sure. But she is no Mary. Mary moves on. That is, that is right. She, look for Mary to go deep in this one, guys. She is a powerhouse. Hey, for this next round, who's she going to go against? Pontius Pilate or Elijah? True. Elijah has Elijah has faced governmental leaders before with unwavering conviction. And so even though he's a slight underdog, right? Pontius Pilate has a 52% chance to win this thing. Man, it was not as close as I thought it was going to be. Pontius Pilate came out, showed up. Goodness gracious. We have now got the matchup of the tournament ahead of us here, Drew. Virgin Mary against Pontius Pilate. Pontius Pilate wiped his hands clean of Mary's son's death, and here we are. We get to see Mary potentially exact some revenge, I don't know, on Pontius Pilate. I'm not sure there's a matchup that I could orchestrate that would be as exciting as this one is going to be. Either way, whoever wins, whoever loses, there's going to be some real excitement going on there. I can't wait till the Sanctified 16 to see how this one rolls out. Absolutely, Drew. I tell you, how about the Nathan over Balaam victory? I mean, mm -hmm. we're, we were surprised to see Balaam make it this far, Drew. I mean, yeah, nobody expected Balaam to get here. I think the thing that, that everybody was asking going into this game was, did Nathan belong here? Mm -hmm. I mean, after seeing how he upset Jonah, the only thing we could hear coming right. from Jonah's locker room was how the the officials uh, blew the game, bad calls, I, you know, I don't deserve this kind of treatment. Jonah was just, I mean, throwing flags all over that game. I, I hear Twitter actually shut down his feed for a little bit because it was so ugly. It was, but I think in this game against Balaam, Nathan showed up and he let us know, no, no, he deserves to be in this game. Absolutely embarrassing Balaam, who Absolutely. didn't really stand a chance to begin with. Absolutely. Nathan might have been a little bummed he wasn't facing his buddy David as well, so probably some emotions in that as well. Uh, yeah, and I think not just bummed that he wasn't facing his friend David, but kind of maybe took a little onus on himself mm -hmm. to, to get some, some vindication for David, and he did just that. He brought it. He brought it hard. How about Micah, the 11 seed, moving on to our sanctified 16, upsetting Samuel? What a great upset. It was fun to watch. Uh, man, I thought Micah had had this one in, or excuse me, I thought Samuel had this one in the bag. You know, he had a, a, a broader base of fans. I mean, he's known nationwide. He's been established as a trustworthy prophet of God. I thought this was his game. Absolutely. Micah showing up, love and mercy, doing justice, walking humbly with God. And, you know, I'm reminded of, of this passage in, in 1 Samuel 3 where it says, The Lord said to Samuel, See, I'm about to do something that will make the ears of everyone who hears it tingle. I don't think Samuel quite knew what was coming his way when he heard that. And, you know, it kind of makes me wonder what's going to happen up there in the east. Perhaps was this prophecy talking about Samuel's son, Joel. What's going to happen there? Let's go check it out next. <laughs> 